Hi everyone. Today we will see working of a project called detecting the handwritten uh, part of medical prescription and getting the more information about it. Uh, here what we are going to do is we are going to build a model or a application where uh, you can enter any three uh, most important uh, symptoms of a person or a patient then you can predict what disease he is having okay that that is the first part of the project and in the next part when you upload any medical prescription it will give you the uh, details for example uh, in medical prescription there is there is a tablet name antihistamine or some steroid or like that then it will give the information okay this is the this is particular tablet and this is used for particular disease and this will be having a particular composition like that stuff it will give details about the medicine and the next thing comes upload tablet image if you have any tablet you can just fit tablet image it, it will give us give us the detail okay what is it, what is the tablet okay for what that is used and what is the composition and what is the disease uh, can be cured with that tablet i like that okay this uh, this includes uh, all three most important features we'll see one by one initially we'll check with predicting the disease here i gave a uh, continuous sneezing uh, shivering and chills and when i ask for predict disease it is allergy okay it is allergy even you can check cross check with the uh, you cross check with your uh, uh, testing data set here you can see okay allergy this part continuous sneezing shivering chills it means it is a allergy disease that means our model is predicting very well you can check it on any other uh, uh, features that i will show it now okay uh, uh, we'll we'll take some other random chronic cholesterol i will take okay this is a hitching Okay, first we'll do we'll, we'll clear the stuff so this is chronic cholesterol this is how you will get the result and uh, the prediction will almost it will be nearly under percent more than 98 or 99 percent as it is working i think you can see that okay user interface you can extend this you, you, uh, we can make this user interface better than this okay uh, next thing is upload any medical prescription uh, before going there i will show you which medical prescription that we are going to upload uh, for example is so one of the medical prescription okay how, how in our model uh, there is option okay i i selected two type of uh, medical prescription one is patanjali and another one is uh, one medical is there sanjay uh, medicals okay i took two uh, medical prescriptions initially what happens is whenever i upload any one of them first it will classify which is patanjali and which is sanjay medical prescription so based on that it will uh, detect the regions of the handwritten part okay that is the medicine names and it will detect once it will detect it will try to extract the information of these medicines for that i have databases database in the team but i have excel sheets of that for this medicine what is the composition and all those stuffs i have uh or from there i will fetch and i will display there okay uh we'll see it i uh, will upload this uh, medical prescription and we'll see you can just see the name of this one the exact file i will upload okay upload medical will upload patanjali no? and i open it you can see processing in uh, cmd it says okay 99 percent patanjali it means first it is classifying whether it's sanjay medicals or patanjali medical okay when it when it is uh 
patanjali medicals it is extracting the information and once it extra extracts the information it will display to us you can see here what are the information that we are getting the medicine is antihistamine you can say that first medicine was antihistamine the second medicine was steroid both are detected and the next part is for which disease that is being used okay the disease is food allergy and the medicine composition is brom uh, what is that bromponeramine uh, citrazine uh, chloropyramine something okay uh, like that okay it is the composition and then comes description medicine description antihistamines are drugs which treat allergic rhinitis and other allergies okay what precautions a patient should take the disease precaution apply calamine cover area with bandage use eyes to compress itching like that okay the next thing is the disease occurrence very common more than 10 million this is a cause what is actually happening like that this is okay risk factor atopic dermatic family uh, history a few or like that is there this is all about the first medicine then comes the next medicine the medicine name is steroid as we saw in the image uh, the disease is drug allergy the medicine composition is uh, 17 carbon atom bonded in 4 fused ring 3 6 member cyclohexane rings like that medicine descriptions uh, is given medic and what are the precautions they should take top irritation consult near at uh, nearest hospital uh, something okay like stop taking drug and follow up and the disease risk factor is to have food allergy or if you like that is there okay it all uh, based on the database in the back end and as you can see in the third part we'll be uploading in tablet uh, i have one tablet name upload that That medicine is also an antihistamine. Here you can see the medicine is antihistamine. It's it's the same. So it is showing antihistamine itself. Uh, we can upload uh, another one. Okay. Here what happened is uh, the thing the image I uploaded is not actually getting detected. Why? Because Initially, what I will do is anyway, I need to compare the data. The the image which I uploaded is out of my database. Okay, I can't compare and I, I can't give all this information to the unknown uh, medicine. So that is the thing. If you want about all the medicines, you should have that much bigger data set. And you know, in medical, uh, when it comes to medicines, there are thousand. I don't know how many number of medicine, um, different medicines are there. It's very easy. You can't have all the database with it, with you. Okay, so to show that I, I just uh, gave that as an input, and it is working working like this very well. Um, about coding and all those stuff, you can contact us. Uh, like this, I will be posting so many other videos, and they may be helpful for you. You can just like and subscribe uh, our channel. We will be posting so many other videos, and uh, uh, and also will be posting some other videos which will be containing direct codes okay here uh, we are not giving this as a public uh, okay public code or like that but we will be giving some concepts as a public code and we will be giving that completely free so if you follow up uh, you can click on uh, this uh, that bell button you will be getting the notifications you will get so many other topics or concepts or projects for you for free uh, thank you thank you for your time and uh, yeah We'll, get, we'll see again. Thank you.